Well, this is Scample Gaming, right? I forgot the fucking channel names. Uh, today we're trying to play one state survival again so it's been a new update as you can see at the moment i will share the settings very quickly everything is on ultra i will also go fps uh 60 so you can just get an idea as you can see graphic settings are on pretty much manually but it's over extreme because i also set everything on max 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 will smoke effect other vehicle effects bloom effects absolutely everything so today uh, one second. No, no, no. Cancel, save. Okay. As you can see, everything is shiny as fuck. The FPS you can see, top right corner. So today I am gonna show you pretty much the bus driving situation. And holy shit, this game actually looks quite nice with full maximum quality. Look at this. This is even more with the bloom effect and everything. Mm. Car effects and shit, whatever. Uh, so first of all, you already got the tutorial, so you already know the progress tree. So I unlocked the bus driver right here at level 9. We're gonna set a waypoint, so at least you can see some gameplay all the way over there. They also added businesses, uh, houses, and um, <clears throat> guns and police and other factions like that. So they did actually upgrade the game as you can see on the minimap let me show you quickly the minimap as you can see now you actually have some decent control over it the graphics are quite nice uh yeah sometimes you need to make sure you are at least playing with the pretty much video on because they might actually be little cunts because uh the police are real life players so they are actually cunts i also had a couple of uh run-ins with some dicks that I had to make sure to tell them I will report the living crap out of you because uh, they are getting overwhelmed with their stupidity but whatever the game works amazingly well if you don't actually fuck around with the FPS because it's still in semi-early access so there's still some lag spikes over there and over here but for the purpose of the video I put it on on max and it's does drain your battery quite fast the same way as almost as Fortnite drains your battery on the phone. This is more like um this is more like Samp uh Sample San Andreas multiplayer if you really want to think about it this is pretty much the exact same thing. As you can see a real player there being a moron running in the middle of the road. You don't necessarily need to follow the lights green red whatever but they actually do work so that is a plus. If you want to get yourself immense a lot of players really do like to do some role plays around here uh, make sure you always and I repeat always like this use this and always lock your car so nobody else can steal it or uh, pretty much take it without you noticing or to have a moron yelling in the background I also had a, some children because there seems to be quite a lot of children around here and it's quite annoying so as you can see this is my brand new bus so I just took it and I am leaving right now to do the work. So as you can see we have a regular bus drive to the next stop. So this is uh, quite an interesting little situation if you think about it. So the tutorial tells you you need to open the doors for the uh, NPCs to actually get in because they actually have NPCs waiting at the bus stop. Just so you know, you do not actually need to open the doors, they will just spawn inside the moment you go into that little circle. So don't try it like me for like 20 minutes to make them get inside by opening and closing the door. Just drive it, park it and they will get in and just keep going. And if you go if you go slow enough, they will actually, you can actually get those cunts inside your fucking vehicle without them ever actually caring that you were running middle way full speed. So this one, like the taxi, you pretty much get penalized by if you let's say crash the bus like I just did because it's down there in the middle of the screen you already see the fuel on the left and then the repair kits and things like that or of course you can repair it at garages and things like that or you can use the repair kits in your inventory right here either way it's all good you might actually see some graphical glitches at the moment it seems because uh, the rendering is kind of weird like I said this is the best game to actually play it uh, Let's say about medium settings with the FPS on 30, so it actually runs pretty smooth, but again, I guess you can overlook some things like that. You can 
They also on the Discord advise you to, if you like, you can play it on like BlueStacks or some other things like that. If you don't really want to play it on mobile, I don't know how exactly that works, but uh, with this type of game, because there's quite a lot of buttons to press and things like that, like this and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. Either way, it's not, uh, I guess, not complicated. So right now, as you can see, there are the there are people right there, actually in the uh, let's say that direction right here. And let me just show you that you can actually open the door, as you can see. Yeah, that's a perfect one. Okay, move right. Okay, look, I'm just gonna grab them, and as you can see, it's a little bit of a weird situation, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just as you can see, they just jumped in and the doors automatically closes. And on the next one, I will show you that you do not actually <clears throat> need to open or close the doors. As you can see, the door is closed. I cannot open it, open it any other way except uh, the button on the right. So I'm not going to do that As you, and I will show you immediately that it works. Just watch out for the pretty much stupid players that are lagging because some players, even some cops have like ping 200, I actually... And you're supposed to drive on the correct side of the road or else you're at fault and they can also call the cops and things like that and they also had some little missions so you can start a little better than I used to start it. When I started this game they were... Uh, you just got a pain in the ass pretty much, that's about it, so that should be good. Either way, if you decide to just join the game, make sure you, when you see me on the street, just give me money, pretty much. And don't trust player that says you can come here and let me just transfer some money. You can, it's, uh, can even trade vehicles. Anybody is interesting in that uh, red card that I just got? It's about uh, 220 in the shop, so I'm selling it for 150. Anybody is interested? What? Shameless plugs! Shameless plugs! And just so you know, a lot of players will actually talk instead of the chat, which is up there on the left, they will actually just yell, I mean, talk in the microphone. So if you ever played uh, Call of Duty or all type of games that you hear people just screaming and talking nonsense and shit like that, this is pretty much it. You'll hear people saying, fuck your mom and things like that. So if you're a pussy, don't play this game. It will not be good for your heart because uh, there is no music in the car, so you cannot listen to the cars or anything like that. When you and you're not gonna be, I don't think you will be enjoying somebody, you know, ten year old child just going ah, fuck a mama. or things like that. You're definitely not gonna enjoy it. I mean, maybe you're a sadist and you like that shit. Either way, you can swear at each other as much as you'd like. I mean, uh, if you like to, I think, if you, if you want to, you can definitely teabag them as well. Just crouch on their ass, on their head, whatever you want. Nobody's judging you. Yeah, I'm showing you real time how much this one of these rides actually takes, so you can at least have an idea. Uh, some of them are actually even longer than this. I actually had a run that I had to play for like 20 minutes to finish it. So yeah, as you can see, there's still people do drop off and then get up and shit like that. So it's uh, pretty nice if you think about it. <clears throat> so this one is quite nice because you can actually see how much you're getting paid. As you can see, I got 1k and 1k in XP. That's pretty low. Now I'm going to just cancel it. It shows you how many job points you spend, how much XP and so on. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, let me just double check something real quick, just so at least I do a correct job right here on the first time. Uh, I don't think it, it shows you. Nah, it doesn't show you. Let me just uh, go there and show you how much it actually shows you at every... Where's my car? Alright, right here. So, it does actually show you how much you earn per hour. And I think I finally did it enough times with other jobs and things like that. As you can see, he tried to enter my car, but I locked it. I don't care about them idiots on the main road, either way. Yeah, it does actually show you when you go to that specific... Uh, let me just progress tree right here. Set waypoint, it should work now, yeah. Uh, it does actually show you how much you earn per hour, so if you're actually playing, planning to play, this is not an hour in game, it's an, pretty much an hour in real life. The best jobs at the beginning, it should be the taxi and even in the 
let's say later rounds the taxi is the best one don't try to go to all other jobs and things like that just pretty much do the delivery one until you can do the taxi and then the taxi and then mining at level 10 at actually at level 8 it's quite a good uh, little thingy because you just go back and forth back and forth so this is how much you actually can get per uh, let's say one round you saw how much you got and I'm just gonna quickly go all the way back to the bus station so you at least see what I was talking about of how much you actually earn and this is pretty much the driving is decent you have a lot of different cars but they're very expensive is getting to go a little on the premium side purely because you have coins that you can uh, use other things on they actually had the loot boxes and things like that so you don't need to grind like a moron to get a car you can literally just Pay some money, open some loot boxes and you'll get a decent car and just so you know, you only get one vehicle slot. So if you're like me and you just got this car and you, let's say, save enough money and you didn't have a... You didn't find a player to trade it in, you can trade it back to the state. Like, like of the price, you just want to slap yourself in the head and that's about uh, it. Or you can spend money to earn it. As you can see right now, it literally says average hourly earnings right here, 21k. As you can see also the fines right here, the level 13 one you get 33k in a different bus and this one is the best one at the moment because you get 46k average hourly income. As you can see it's about, you also pay rent on them as you can see 20 hour to 2k per hour. Okay so yeah, that's about it, hope you like it, see if you have any more uh, like preference on uh, something else you need explaining just go ahead. I also have a couple more videos explaining how to actually start properly and things like that. Just check them up on the channel. Just type in the search bar right there on my channel. One state role playing. Until then, look at these fucking side boobs and peace, peace.